Alright, so what are we getting into today? I want to finish tenting this glass. I learned something about this glass here is like rounded off. It's kind of rounded, right? And this is what I learned from scouring the internet for information about why my tenting isn't coming out the right way. Since the glass is kind of like, you know, rounded a little when you lay the tent on, I was getting a lot of fingers and I couldn't figure out like why my tent is coming out so bad and everybody else's is just coming out, you know, kind of good. And it's because you need to shrink the tent. So today that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try and shrink the tent and tuck it. So I'm gonna use my piece of tent here that you can see is kind of folded up, looking all crazy right now. And we're just gonna use that as a practice piece and try and shrink it and get it to fit so that we can, uh, Ah, uh, man, if this works, I'm tent everything. I'm wrapping stuff. Just call me a rapper the rapper from now on. All right, let's get to work. Ooh it's another hot day outside. I might open the uh, garage just to open the garage. But yeah, I want to show you guys what I was uh, researching on the internet about how to install this tent. Got my heat gun. So, follow we're gonna follow, well, we're gonna attempt to do what everybody else has been doing to get their tent Right, nice, nice, yes, nice, nice. Okay, I got my bowl of water, and let's grab my. Oh, uh, what else do I need? Ah, uh, let's just go ahead and start working on this. So, first I'm gonna clean this glass. Let's clean this glass. Get that squeegee, squeegee action, baby. Clean the glass. And we're just gonna use this as a test piece. <clears throat> We're going to leave some on the bottom so that let's get this in the corner here. I want it nice and inside that corner. Hey man, if the if this is the correct side and the tape is like now here's the thing. We have to leave a little bit up at the top, right? We'll leave a little bit up at the top. And then squeegee the outside too, like they did, right? Except they weren't really using a squeegee, they were using a, oh man, that glides when you do the outside, see? I didn't know that. But now, the fingers are beginning to rear their ugly head, just like I was saying. The fingers are beginning to show, right? So what they recommend is that you shrink the tent. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's shrink this tent. This is gonna be a practice piece. All right. So now we're just gonna shrink the middle and I'll bring the camera around 
can show you guys. Because at first when I did this, I thought I was, at first when I did this, I thought I was messing up the tent. But you really not. Just add heat to it and try and shrink it. Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm gonna put the camera back down. Put the camera back down. Okay, so now as we apply heat, right? Let's do this again. As we apply heat and shrink it, and then just squeeze it out. Just squeeze it out the water. And try and get the tent to like round itself out, right? Just a little bit, we got. I'm gonna keep on shrinking it, boys. Putting them for the bottom. I'm just gonna leave the bottom like. Then I'm going to cut into this side too. So I'm going to pause it here and keep on shrinking it. And keep on just pushing the water out until it conforms with the glass itself. I'm going to keep at this. Hopefully this is the correct side. If not, then... We made it. It's actually working. Jeez, man. It took me like... It took me forever. So now, I'm just going to cut like the excess parts. I got to wet that again and keep shrinking. Wet it again, keep shrinking, and then we cut. and then we cut. Keep thinking and then we cut. It seems like we got the top looking good. But the bottom, I'm not gonna concern myself about. I'm not gonna concern myself with the bottom too much right now because we still have to cut the bottom. So I'm just gonna leave that like so. All right, now we can start to do our cut. And we can start to do our cut. All right, and then shrink again. down boom just like that all right let's get this corner in here Very nice and tight cut that straight down boom bow skippity pow okay nice so then we're gonna continue the process. I'm still gonna leave this bottom part because when we close the door, the window will go up and I'm gonna keep on shrinking until <clears throat> it comes out the way I want it to come out. 
looking good already. Sheesh, man. It was just that one little thing that I had to do. That one little thing that I had to do in order to get it to act right. Got these edges right here. Crank. Edges. Crank. And then pull the water out. And then pull the water out. Keep on sinking that tent for it. Oh, oh man. Cool, 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 cool. So, now what I'm going to do is raise it up, and just wet it. Yes, raise it up. Yeah, man, like I said before, when I, when I was doing it, the tent started to crinkle when I would wet it, and I was thinking like, nah, man, it's not supposed to, it's not supposed to do that. But it is. It is supposed to, it's supposed to like shrink and come out perfect. Oh man. If the sticky side was out this way, man, Oh, that looks so good. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so now the bottom part just needs to be taken care of. You know what? I'm going to check and see if this is like the correct side of this tent because if it is we we are done we are done we made it boys yes i'm tenting and wrapping everything i told you call me parappa the rapper the bottom part because I'm not going to too much worry about this bottom part let me just see if this is the sticky side facing towards me because if it is I'm just going to take it off put it right there boom yo you're not going to believe it that is the sticky side we are in luck and this thing is coming out though too there's still some spots at the top here that I need to do but um, I'm going to keep on applying heat, spraying it down, and then making sure that this side comes out right. We'll do the bottom a little. Just apply some more heat to the top. Because I see a little bit of uh, imperfection, so I'm just going to make sure that side shrinks. Oh man, I should have known. See, sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes you just gotta be like, give yourself like a break, and then come at it again. Shrink the bottom here and make sure it's at least decent enough that we don't have to keep on. This side right here, it turns that side too. So it's not even gonna matter, it's like when it sticks to that. So yeah, it's still. Peel this side off and apply it to the opposite side. Yo, 
Yes. All right. So. Come on, bro. Don't mess this up. Perfect. Mm. That's all right, let's clean this up. Let's clean this opposite side of this glass. Get ready to flip it over on this side. Close the door. I'm gonna close the door. I want it to fit just like how it's fitting right now. So I to slide around like. like so and I'm gonna come down just a little just a little because the window kind of goes up and just not too much but just a little Way too far, my friend. We have come way too far for you to be not doing what you're supposed to do. One and done, man. It's kind of slipping. It's kind of slipping. Okay, I think, I think it's good. Let's just make sure when we do it, let's get the bubbles out. Let's see there's bubbles in it. So where's my water? With this side. Okay, that turned out perfect. The only thing I need to do now is apply more heat, more water uh shrink it and tuck the tent into the door here so i'm gonna get back to work that's looking good looking good i have like some small imperfections right here that i'm gonna work out with some heat but i kind of want the inside here to dry and then i'm gonna work this out and just work down here with more heat and push this out, of course, with some heat. But that's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. I kind of cut off a little bit excess around the corner here, kind of round it out. But other than that, yeah, man. Just keep on working out these imperfections. Push these bubbles out. And just like that, the bubbles, all of the bubbles are coming out. Once again, it's hot in here. 
but I don't mind working in the heat. I actually feel as though it's good for you to be in the heat. Just sweating it out, kind of like a sauna. It's a good thing. Just keep pushing these bubbles out. There we go. Told you we made it, boys. All right, guys. This. Yes, I'm just gonna keep on applying some more heat. That about does it. Thank you guys for watching the video. And if you like what you see, please like and sub to the channel. Whew. We're gonna start working on the radio stuff during the week. At least we, hopefully we can get the amp to power all four, all four of those speakers. I might go with the, um, the JBL just for now, until I figure out how to get that eight inch sub in. <clears throat> because the JBL can just slide right in there. I know it's not gonna give you that much bass or whatever it is, but I'm gonna start breaking down the car, moving the heat out of this tank. We made it, boys. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you guys next week.